Hey, BR Tidwell 55 here, and uh, today I'm reviewing Ubuntu Mate. Uh, this is based on the recently released uh, Ubuntu 4.14.10. Uh, uh, I would be lying to you if I told you which, uh, what the actual version number of, of Mate that that is included here, but anyway that's what it is when I first heard about this project I actually got kind of excited uh, because uh, I believe it or not I'm an old-school Ubuntu guy uh, I use the heck out of Ubuntu uh, back in the days when it was still based off of when, when its primary desktop was uh, GNOME 2.x uh, and when I got this uh, when I got this installed I was like you know Hello, old friend. Uh, I missed you because, really, truly, honestly, uh, I actually Alan Pope, one of the lead developers on this distro, when he when he first uh, talked about it, uh, I caught up with him in a mumble chat. I told him, "Well, you, you really should call this Ubuntu Classic Edition." Uh, they probably won't do that, but I tell you, it really does have that classic. Uh, kind of Ubuntu uh, I want to say like 804, 810 kind of feel to it but that's not uh, so there's that so I mean this really uh, this this really warms my heart so to speak uh, to see this and, and to see it out on the street uh, it's Ubuntu it installs very easily works and play well works and plays well in dual boot or triple boot type situation uh, I've got this running on my on my test rig it's an older rig 2 gigs of RAM E2200 Pentium dual core processor 2.2 gigahertz uh, NVIDIA I believe it's a GK630 video card uh, a word about that so while I like seeing this it's not without its bugs uh, first of all I have a dual screen setup you can't see it here because I'm only recording one of my screens first of all it uh, uh, with my dual screen setup it its default was to mirror the screens I wanted to extend my screens across both desktops that uh, when I using the default Nouveau driver, uh, when I went to when I went to select that option, the computer completely froze up on me. So hard hard reboot. One hard reboot later, I install the Nvidia. Uh, I go ahead and I st install the proprietary Nvidia driver. Uh, I'm able to get dual screens without. Uh, desktop extended across two screens without any issues. Uh, second bug I discovered so I couldn't get uh, sound didn't work straight out of the box so I had to install uh, Pavu control once I installed Pavu control and, and adjusted some settings in Pavu control I got the sound output to work over HDMI so those are there's a those, those are a couple of the bugs I found. Another bug I found was let me bring uh, bring up a web page here and I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, when I set the transparency in my uh, in my terminal, it doesn't show me the window underneath the terminal. It shows me uh, the desktop background, the desktop wallpaper that's underneath that window. Don't know if this is a feature or a bug, but it is certainly odd. Uh, so that's uh, so. Th those are some uh, those are some issues that I've found. So. To sum it all up, you know, I'm the guy who, who made the video that said Ubuntu 1404 sucks. 
and then made another video last night it, if anyone if anyone's watched it on 1410 I said it still sucks but mainly that was because of of unity and I think uh, I think most people know if you've seen any of my stuff or if you've talked to me you know my problems that I have uh, with the unity desktop environment you don't have these problems here uh, with mate you know it, because, well, frankly, it's not Unity, and over and overall, once you work through some of the bugs that you may find on initial setup, it's familiar. It's easy. Uh, you know, anyone who has used GNOME dot, uh, GNOME two dot X, or uh, maybe you're a Linux Mint uh, Mate edition user, you know, the good old you know it's got that good old time look and feel to it so uh, of course you know navigating is really easy uh, really easy to do you know, I'm just kind of slowly showing you everything that comes with it uh, not a lot but enough to get you going and and honestly it, the nice thing about this it's the ISO for this is just barely over a gig and it's also because it's Mate desktop it's fairly uh, lightweight on system resources this is this isn't really a fair look because I've got a couple of uh, Chrome tabs open and I've got mumble going and I'm also recording but uh, so yeah I expected that memory usage is going to be kinda high but if you look I mean simple screen recorder is is using is you know taking up 10 percent of my memory usage uh, the mate desktop itself uh, you know is gonna run around or at least on this system when I looked at it it ran around uh, 400 meg so it, it's uh you know it, it's really not bad I mean you could I think you can use this desktop pretty easily on a on a on a system with uh, uh, that ha that you're resource limited as I am in this system it only has two gigs of RAM so uh, so there's that so final verdict Ubuntu uh, make community or mate excuse me community edition uh, here's the verdict it doesn't suck okay uh, it does have issues, okay, uh, and I've already mentioned those with, with uh, display driver uh, issues and uh, with the sound. So, uh, for a moderate to advanced Linux user, uh, for someone who you know pines for the days of old school Ubuntu. I, I would recommend this distro for that person, but for a brand new uh, wet behind the ears user, uh, Linux user, uh, I can't really recommend it for for that person. Uh, but you know, give it time. I know uh, I know Alan Pope and his team that have been working on this. You know, they've they, they've put a lot of effort into it, and you know, it's it's something any new project you're gonna have bugs so so there's that I think is they move forward with this and and and, 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 and polish this up and clean it up some it will get I, I have no doubt that it will eventually get to the point where you know you can recommend it for for a brand new Linux user it's not quite there yet but at the same time you know it's not a distro that I think uh, you can uh, dismiss out of hand. So, the good news is it doesn't suck. The bad news is you're gonna need to put some effort into into getting it right. Possibly your mileage may vary. So, this is Br Tidwell 55, and I really appreciate you taking your time uh, to watch this video. And I'll try to uh, I'll try to uh, get some other stuff out there as well. I know it's been a while since I've made anything. Anyway, thanks for watching. BR Tidwell 55, and I'm out.